The day has finally come. All Giants rookies and vets have reported to 1925 Giants Way for training camp with their first practice being held on Wednesday. New York Post Giants beat writer Paul Schwartz is here to answer some of your final questions and statements heading into camp. And Paul, before we get into the fans, uh, the Giants signed a familiar face, safety Andrew Adams, who won a Super Bowl with the Bucks two years ago. Will he compete for a starting role, or is this signing mainly for depth within the secondary? Hey, Brandon. Yes, um, um, Andrew Adams is a guy I always liked. You know, I, you know, sometimes you get a feel about a player. He came as a um, undrafted free agent in 2016 out of UConn. Always seems to be a sharp guy. I once saw him at a uh, softball in a softball game, and he hit like a bunch of home runs. He was a really good baseball player as well. But the Giants don't need him to hit home runs. They need him to play defense and. Brandon, as you know, being a guy who was making NFL rosters, special teams. So, uh, look, the Giants have Xavier McKinney. They have Julian Love. Those are starting safeties. Um, Andrew Adams is not going to supplant them unless something crazy happens. But there is not a lot of depth in the safety position. They drafted a guy, Dane Belton, who I expect could play as a rookie in some role. But, yeah, Andrew Adams is here. He won a Super Bowl two years ago with the Bucks, So he knows his way around the defensive backfield, and he certainly – knows his way around special teams. He could be a factor there. All right, another guy that knows his way around the defensive backfield and is still a familiar face in East Rutherford doesn't have a team yet. Landon Collins, any chance that he gets re-signed by the Giants? Hmm, that's an interesting one. Um, I would doubt it. You know, I mean, Landon Collins is a guy, he's used to making a lot of money. Uh, that money's not going to come to him now. Uh, the Giants loved him. I mean, he was a great player in 2016. Uh, he was in the running for defensive player of the year and he was a great player but he's not a great coverage guy he's better up at the line of scrimmage he's had some injury issues that would be an interesting one um look joe shane did not draft landon collins so he has no ties to him uh bring him in look they sign guys from tryouts all the time so uh he's a good guy i like landon a lot so i certainly wouldn't mind seeing that all right, let's get to some of the tweets from the fans. At I am Eli Rack says, Daniel Jones will be a top 15 quarterback this year. True, false, and what should fans expect from DJ this season? Um, what was that guy's name? Eli something? I am Eli Rax. I am Eli Rax. Um, I'd like to know whatever he's having, I'd like to have some of that, okay? Because <laughs> that would uh, make me feel very positive and upbeat. Uh, Daniel Jones, top 15. Uh, boy, the Giants would sign for that yesterday. Uh, I think that's a bit much, but I think there is more to Daniel Jones than what we've seen. Look, we saw glimpses of it as a rookie, maybe more than glimpses. You know, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions as a rookie, and then, you know, he's had bad luck. He's had some injuries. He's had really bad offensive lines. He's had a lack of creativity in play calling. He's had Saquon Barkley getting hurt. So I think there's more in Daniel Jones, and I think Brian Dayball is the guy, along with Mike Kafka, a guy who can get it out of him. I'm really anxious to see him this season. A lot of pressure on DJ, but pressure is a privilege. Uh, Alex Wilson, ESM, says uh, he has a weird feeling Wondell Robinson is going to lead the Giants in yards as a rookie. That's a strong take, but it is possible given how good he looked in the spring. What are your thoughts on the Giants passing game and this receiver room? If Wandell Robinson leads his team in receptions, it will be great for Wandell Robinson and probably not great for the Giants. Look, they have two guys, Kenny Galladay. They gave Kenny Galladay 70 million bucks to come here and catch passes, catch contested passes. He's a big target. Uh, they drafted a guy in the first round, Kadarius Toney, who showed flashes, and I accent flashes as a rookie, uh, needs to do a lot more, needs to stay on the field. Uh, they have Darius Slayton, a guy who drops too many passes, but is fast and certainly is an NFL receiver. And if Sterling Shepard can get healthy, I don't expect him to be a major factor, but maybe he can be somewhat of a factor. He does have experience. Now, I like what I saw from Wondell Robinson. The guy played out of the backfield at Nebraska. He caught over 100 passes last season at Kentucky. Uh, Brian Dayball's imagination, he'll be able to use Wandale Robinson in a variety of different roles. And Robinson is not a small guy, Brandon. He's short. There's a difference. He is mm -hmm. short, but he is, he's got some definition to him. So I think he can take a little bit of a hit. But leading the team in receptions as a rookie with Galladay and Tony there, I'm not buying it. Paul, thanks for breaking it down. Thanks, uh, thanks for your time. All right, Brandon. Thanks.